Hi, I'm Donna DeVere, the original creator of the Folk Art Once Wrote Painting Technique. Welcome to the Let's Paint Studio right here at Plaid. Learning to paint has never been as easy as when I teach you how to load a brush with multiple colors where you can blend, shade, and highlight with one stroke of the brush. Our new program with Let's Paint Folk Art One Stroke this year is going to be all about learning how to paint 50 different types of flowers. And as you can imagine, 50 flowers makes the possibility endless to be able to paint floral designs. I'm thrilled that you've chosen to join me on this one stroke journey. So let's paint. So let's paint at Queen Anne's Lace today. And what we're doing is we're gonna be using a reusable teaching guide where we can practice our strokes. We're using folk art multi-surface paint listed right there for you which will be wicker white, citrus green, and sap green. And then we're using our brushes, or the one-stroke brushes, which are a half-inch scruffy, a two-scrip liner, and a five-eighths angle brush. Now, we're gonna make this stem and put it on, and we're gonna paint this stem right on our surface after we practice on the other side of the sheet. So now what we're going to do is we're gonna look at what we're gonna paint here. We're gonna do stems, we're gonna use the little greenery that holds on the lace part of the flower. We've also taken our 5 8 brush, put it in water, dried it off so we're ready. We're gonna be using the chisel edge of this brush and it's got a toe and a heel on here. So what you wanna make sure of is what color you want to follow to get the fine line on this brush. Now this is like a flat brush, but it's cut off here so you don't have to angle it like I do with some other brushes that are flat. Now what I'm going to do is I want the sap green on the toe. So we're gonna come right in here in my double loader, split the brush color right there as I'm picking it up. And then I go in a cubby. I don't split it to work it in, okay? So you split the brush, come here, work it in, all right? So this is just a tall stem that's gonna come in the middle here. And so practice it till you get it nice and thin, all right? Now I'm gonna come right over here and I'm going to decide up there where I want that stem to, the blossom to be. And I'm gonna do another one right down here, okay? So we wash that off and now I want you to feel comfortable with doing these little guys with the script liner, okay? Now, what I wanna do is have both colors in here. So we're gonna get a little citrus, a little sap. We're gonna work this in. Now I am going to, only with this brush, um, it's probably the only brush you'll ever see me using water as we paint. If we need any moisture, we use floating medium, but not for liner work. Okay, so roll it, and then we're gonna come here. It's easier for me to go like this, and try, I want you to practice some of these right on the guide. All right, so see, we also have some that I like to bring underneath like this. Okay, and come back up. And we also have some of these little guys here, that tendrils that come down from here, if you want to to make um, another fun look. Now I'm gonna clean that off and wipe this with a, a wet wipe or a wet paper towel and see it starts drying pretty quick. So make sure you wipe it in between strokes. Now we're gonna prep our piece now for um, these little fun flowers to go on top. So what I'm going to do is I'm gonna pick this up. I've got the paint already on here and I'm going to spread it out. It looks like an upside down umbrella, okay? So think about that as you're doing this. I'm gonna come here, and I like to take and move it just like that first, put some little guys in between, all right, to get my position. And then let's fill in between that. You'll notice my little finger where I'm steadying. All 
All right, so now let's look at this. It's going to tell you right in here, we're going to use our scruffy, and we're going to use this brush dry. So it's natural hairs. We don't want uh, to wet these hairs except when we're cleaning the brush, all right? So I'm going to pick up a touch of wicker white on, it's an oval, so on one end of the oval, I'm tapping some white, and on the other end of the oval, I'm tapping some citrus green. So if you're passing that out there, this is what you're going to be seeing, okay? So, and you're going to keep coming here, and they're tapping tight taps on here, type. And you're going to move it around like this. See how I'm up and down, up and down? And then afterwards, I can put a few more of these little liner stems on there, okay? So let's wipe this off, and I'm going to put this on this side so you can be watching it. Now let's pick up fresh wicker white, not in the middle of the puddle ever, always on the outside edge, okay? And it was important that you fluff your scruffy before you started, and that's how I took my fingers in there and fluffed out the brush. It doesn't say that on anywhere for you to see, so I like to make sure I say that. There we go. Okay, now we're going to take the handle of this brush and we're going to dot dots here and there. You can have some citrus in those dots. See, it's showing you right there. I'm going to pick up some citrus with that. The last thing before we're totally finished is wipe off the end of that handle or you'll get paint all over you. And then I'm going to go back into some water, into the sap green, and roll that brush before you start painting with it. And then come right in here and I take a few out into the paint here. See, that's going to make it look more natural. So you start here, don't go down that stem with these, make sure your umbrella starts right here. And, okay, so the only thing I do last on this is I like to come in here and have a few of these little guys coming from here, okay, and I had so much fun today sharing how easy it is to paint these flowers. They turned out gorgeous. Remember, practicing on the reusable teaching guides right over my strokes gives you so much painting confidence. Thank you for joining me here in the studio. And remember, we just learned one more of the flowers from the A to Z One Stoke Floral Painting Sets. And I would love for you to take pictures and share them on our Let's Paint with Plaid Facebook group by hashtagging Let's Paint Challenge. Come on everybody, let's paint.